Greetings, friends, folks. In following the current of modernization, where technologies keep on changing as fast as lightning, we also have to keep track with the ever-changing world of education. Hence, there is no need to be worried since better technologies are coming ahead of us. Problems, let us imagine a school where the student doesn't have any gadgets to keep updated to the new norms. It is hard, right, to be a student where the school doesn't give us any permission to bring any gadgets to school. Our answer comes in the form of an app called Teach In. So, what is our objective? Our objective is to ensure the fluency of PDPC session. There is a lot of problems for us to ensure the fluency of a learning session. But as for now, we will focus on only two problems which is Firstly, there is a high chance of students getting the false information as students sometimes misread their teacher's words and could lead to misinformation. Secondly, students waste lots of their time searching for their teachers when they can do lots of things in the meantime. Please keep in mind that our apps will keep on updating and will go through more phases to solve more problems in the future. One of the common issues we heard from students is that they are unable to know their teacher's availability status in school to continue their lessons. TeachIn is an app that has been coded to help both students and teachers to overcome this problem. TeachIn contains three modes which were designed for students, teachers and admin. Teachers will be able to inform their students anything related to class and lessons such as reminder for students' homework and assignments. Teachers can also update their classes' notes into the system for students' easy revision. To make long story short, we built this app because we want to increase the rate of interaction between student and teacher. Plus, to ensure the fluency of students' learning session so that everything is smooth and efficient. Now, for demonstration. So as you can see, there is three button to log in for teacher, student and admin. So let's first try the teacher mode. For teacher, you only need to add your username, for example here, and their password. After they have successfully logged in into the system, they will see attendance, homework and announcement. Let's click the attendance. So this is where the teacher get to see the list of the absent student. Next, let us click the homework. The teacher can update their homework here. Teacher could also make announcement for all pupils and teacher. Next, let's try to log in as student. For student, they need to enter the class username and password. There will be four button which is for homework, teacher's attendance, student attendance, and announcement. For student, they could only view all of them. Next, for admin. You need to enter the username and the password. Admin is the one who will update the student and teacher attendance status. Admin can also make announcement around the school. And that's all from us. We have made some comparison between students' old method and the newest method. 
the old method is when the student need to search for their teacher all around the school. It is quite troublesome for the students because their free time could have been used to study, have been wasted. It is also very tiring for the students because the distance between the teacher's room and the class is very far. Now, it is easier for us. With just one click, we get to know the teacher attendance status. This would save us a lot of time to study while waiting for the teacher. Next, for the methodology. So, how do we come up with this app? We have implemented SDLC. So, what is SDLC? SDLC is a system development life cycle. It is the most common practice in engineering, as it is only required five phases, which is planning, analysis, design, coding, and testing. For the first phase, planning, we have observed some of application inventing software. We later decided to use PHP MyAdmin as it is the best platform for creating a web-based application. During the second phase, analysis. During this phase, we get to study what first and foremost features that were needed by teachers and students. We also study the entity relation diagram design so that we can connect our variables and make it easier for teachers to give materials to a specific class. For the third phase, design. This is where we get to use our creative imagination to design our basic interface. We need to make sure that the interface is user-friendly so that almost everyone can use it. For the last phase, testing. This is the most important part because if there is any bugs or error, we can fix it during this phase. During this phase, we also determine our product whether it is a failure or a success. We test the app against the requirements to make sure the app is solving the needs addressed and outlined during the planning phase. So, to test out the functionality of our app, we have a few students to try out our app at a kiosk. We put two laptops at the kiosk during recess time and student from Fort Arif tried out the app. They gave us a very good feedback such as it is very useful and it will make a difference to find teacher now. This is some of our feedback review. I have seen and evaluated the developed app and feel that the teach-in can be taken to a higher level. Besides that, the teach-in can also be improved from various aspects to make things easier for the users. Some user interfaces can also be improved and this will make the teach-in one of the advanced web-based apps. The excellent use of variables and data shows that teach-in has a strong and structured database. It is most likely that teach-in can be used in all schools in Malaysia once this app is fully published. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As the principal of Moa Science Secondary Schools, so I feel very proud of the achievement of the students who have reached this level. So where they can build an application. So where we already know that to build an application, it takes a long time and require high ideal skills. So I am in war of those who dare to challenge uh, themselves to get out of their comfort zone. So hopefully, hopefully this application can help teachers and students to facilitate a teaching and learning session. Thank you. So for conclusion, we've been looking ahead and thinking to so improvise all the features offered in Teach-In. Teach-In will grow aligned with the current technology development. And for us, we hope that this system can be applied in all schools across Malaysia to ensure the smoothness of the school management. So let's talk about our next aim. We would love to increase the interaction between teachers and students. So we want to add question and answer session or also known as Q&A in the app. We hope our application can be used in all schools in the future. We also hope to lighten the burden on teachers and make learning activities easier and more enjoyable.